Hello. In this video, I would like to show you how to upgrade this 17-inch screen from uh, OCCFL to a Sunlight Readable UB70 Series LED kits. This is a 17-inch screen, and uh, the screen is made by Samsung. The screen number is LTM170E5-L03. This screen is quite popular and we use, widely use it on the 17 inch uh, ELO touch screen. For example, the model is kind of 1725L. Um, all those models 17 inch using the, uh, the same screens. To upgrade to LED light, you just have to remove uh, the reflectors. <coughs> Samsung screen is quite simple. So first, we're going to set it this side. Um, I'm sorry. We're going to remove the screw and uh, do one at a time. The screw is right here. Let me show you. See, I can show you. Let's see. This is screw. One, two. You just have to remove it and slide. Pull a reflector out. That's all. All right. So you just grab a wire. See, like this. Okay. Now I will just show you again. I think I removed the wrong screw. This is a tiny one. It's neat. Okay. So we will put this one back. It's a tiny screw. All right. <coughs> a tiny one. Okay. So there's two screws. One's the black one. One's a small screw. You need to remove the small screw. <coughs> that holds refractor. So after you remove it, zoom, bingo. Just push it like this. Alright, once out. Next step you need to do is take it out and uh, we mount our UB series inside the reflectors. Perfect. So before we mount it to, uh, <coughs> to the reflector, we always test it. The LED strips, make sure it works before you get the uh, install it I need the power pretty good all right ready to be installed okay before we do that we're gonna remove this thing tips and remove wires slowly you want to pick it so I pull it out flip over the side okay just slowly all right cut it out Peel it off. Cover tape. Just mount it in the center of a reflector. For this 17 inch, it's kind of wide enough. You can just get your finger into it. Just push it. Make sure you stick to a to a part <coughs> of reflector. But in some cases. You can uh, add a little bit, uh, like I would say, just on each end, add a little bit of silicon and let it dry. And after it dry, then it will be stay inside the refractor forever. So basically, it's done. You're gonna just slice right back, like what you just slice out. Okay, you put back a small screw. Set the wire here. Secure the wires. Okay. Secure the wire. Alright. 
And now, we just need to use this to cover this hole to prevent the light breathing out. So, take it out. This is this. So top one's done. You just repeat the exact procedure as the bottom one. That would be it.